Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality and we need to uh, find the solution and express the solution in the set, in the interval notation. So first thing you want to do here is to have uh, zero on one side. So for that reason, I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides and I'm going to get to 5x squared plus 17x minus 12 less than zero. And uh, in this moment, we need to factor out. And the factor form of uh, this guy will be uh, 5x and x. That will be 5x squared. And then when you look to that 12, okay. Um, I think 3 and 4 will work for, for us. And we should have a plus here and a minus here. Let's double check. 5x squared, 20x. Yeah, that's it. And this I'm going to make it equal to 0. Because I want to find out when this polynomial is equal to 0. And then I'm going to use 0 product property. 5x minus 3 equals 0. And x plus 4 equals 0. And I'm going to get here 5x equals 3, and which gives me x equals 3 fifths. That is one moment where this polynomial is 0, and x plus 4 equals 0, that is going to give me x equals negative 4. So these are the two zeros of the polynomials, of the quadratic, in fact, or polynomial, it's okay. I'm going to use now the sign table to identify the interval on which this polynomial is less than 0. x, I'm going to call this polynomial f of x. Let's put these two zeros on the table. The first one will be negative 4, and the second one, 3 fifths. And now I want to just see how the sign behaves in this table. I'm going to take a 0 as a, a initial a value, and if I plug a 0 here in this factor form, uh, I'm going to get negative 3 here, right, because 5 times 0 is 0, so just negative 3. I put a ne just a negative sign to know the sign. And, uh, and again, this one is going to be positive 4, so a positive number. So whenever you multiply a negative and a positive, you get a negative. So that's the reason I'm going to put here a negative. 0 is between negative 4 and 3 fifths. And the sign will alternate. You can check that. 3 fifths, a number greater than 3 fifths will be 1. I bet if you use one, you're going to end up with a positive value. And the same for the number on the left of negative 4. If you pick negative 5, you will see it. the polynomial will be positive. So based on this sign table, uh, this polynomial is less than 0 in the interval negative 4 and 3 fifths. This is the solution set for our problem. If you take a look here, um, we can notice that on the graph, graphically, zero here, zero here, the graph is under the x-axis between negative 4 and 3 fifths. Uh, being the under the uh, x-axis means the polynomial is zero. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.